Welcome to the weekly show with Dear Wine. After three long, grueling years, the World Health Organization has finally declared the end of the pandemic. We've made it through, folks. But hey, let's not just kick back and relax. It's time to dig deep, learn from the challenging period, and harness the wisdom to get ourselves ready for whatever comes in the future. First up, unity. We've seen how quickly the virus spread in the early days and the vaccine distribution. Well, let's just say it wasn't exactly the most even-handed. So the question is, could we have avoided all this if everyone had just played nice? Like a big global game of musical chairs? <laughs> we all know there are not enough chairs for everyone. Then work together to create more. Number two. The role of science. Who would have thought that experts actually know what they're talking about? With the rapid mutation of the virus, we've seen the importance of allowing science to lead the way to prevent misinformation and to keep people from making bad decisions. Like, I don't know, drinking bleach? <laughs> Remember the one leader that suggested people could inject disinfectant to fight the virus? It's like having a broken leg and your doctor saying, have you tried duct tape? Yeah, some people are just like going on a road trip with a map, but then deciding to ask a squirrel for directions. <laughs> it's a rough road when we ignore the right tools and expertise at our disposal. But on the other hand, we should appreciate the incredible breakthroughs in global teamwork, diagnostic systems, and vaccine development and campaign. It was like experiencing a sci-fi movie in real life. Number three, politicization of the pandemic, like turning public health measures into ideological battles. When wearing a mask became a political statement and social distancing was an infringement on personal freedom. It's like if someone said, hey, I'm not going to wash my hands because it's my constitutional right to spread germs. <laughs> and you know what's funny about the whole virus origin debate? Scientifically, diseases are typically derived from nature, and man-made origins are extremely rare and difficult. If there was such a possibility, the most suspicious country would be the one with the most advanced biotechnology. <laughs> Number four, global cooperation. From HIV to Ebola and now COVID-19, time and again we're reminded that we're all in this together. So instead of playing the blame game, let's focus on what really matters, working together to make sure that when the next crisis arrives, we're ready to tackle it as a united front, no matter where it comes from. That's it for tonight. In the end, it's up to us as individuals, communities, and nations to decide what kind of world we want to create. Have a good night.